Uh, welcome back to another video. We have a body here. And uh, right now you can see we are in Chat City. You can see the logo right behind us. So I'm gonna let uh, Lucky Chad do the introduction of this uh, video and then we can hand it over to the tab. Uh, simply the way, simply the way, and welcome back to another video once again and again. Um, I will welcome you to subscribe if you are um, new to this YouTube channel. Um, the biggest deal day today, no for people are trying to contact us um, to tell us to go and visit Tough City. Day today, we are there live in Tough City. And simply the way, before I go, I would love to extend my greetings forward always to England, Finland, Netherlands, Holland, Norway, Germany, Sweden, Guinea Bissau, Guinea Conakry, Ghana, Congo, Cameroon, Mali. Um, nowhere, I turn back to my people. Gambia forward always and simply the way and the way we used to do it and we will drop up their number in the ending of the video in case and when you are in need of and the brightest compound or the brightest city um, in the Gambia as Tuff said um, he is dreaming um, to build um, one million compound um, in Africa so if you want to be part um, part of um, a tough building um, just dial up their numbers simply the way um, they are the best out of the rest um, Tuff is the um, number one estate builder in Africa so he said um, he could have built um, the brightest city in Africa. Um, he will begin it in the Gambia. Simply the way. Um, dial up their number. Um, check it out in the ending of the video. Um, we have a lot to show you out. So subscribe, like it, share it to the four corners of the world. Um, big man, as we are talking right at the moment. Um, four corners of the world. I'm viewing you right at the moment. Intro yourself to the four corners of the world. All right. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you for coming to the city. Um, I am Bamu Duseka, I'm the sales and marketing at Tav Global. So welcome to the Tav City. This is the biggest project of Tav Global so far. It's, it's a place where it will house more than 5,000 homes will be here. And right at the front, all the way there, there will be commercial schools, hospitals, university, everything you think of um, to make a city be a reality. So. To, um, to, to go further, we just have to go inside this, the office there and you see exactly how it looks like. Sorry, before that, can, can our sister here introduce herself so that uh, the viewers will not be in haste to know you? Hello, Please. my name is Mariam Job and I'm the senior project manager supervising all the works at Tap City. Welcome. And I'll let Mr. Seka go through the introduction and the presentation. Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, you can start. Okay. To start with, this is tough city. This is how it will look like. This is the master plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. So looking at it, um, you can see the roads. This road that um, you know the already existing road yeah. that cross through tough city. So this is the, the main entrance of tough city. So going in, you will first have a sales office right here. We, it's yeah, the yeah, same right. place we are in right now. Okay. So, in each of these buildings, you see the levels pasted on each of each one of them. So you can see that this is a, a city in reality, okay? A city in the making, all right? So it goes all the way down here. You have a, a football field there at the sports stadium, all right? And here you have this greenhouse, light industry, showrooms as well, okay? So this is where the whole um, city stops. All right, it starts all the way there, all the way here. All right, so going in, you know, as I said, this is mainly for commercial, for uh, applicable design. Okay? So going towards the, the residence area, you first have to pass through a security check. All right, this security check enables you to access where the houses are. All right, so passing through this security check, you, you go and then make a turn, and then you have the first estate called the banner, which is sold out, all right? In, in less than two months, we sold it out, okay? So the banner itself have a, a security entrance, security check also when trying to enter the banner, all right? Yeah. So this is for the main estate, and this is individually for each estate, all right? So this is the banner. It comprises um, of close to 60 houses. We sold out. Now we are selling the key, all right? DD in Fuller means two. Mm. Banner in Wolof means one. one. Mm. All right. Mm. So this is this is the ongoing one now, and there's a ten percent discount on each of these houses. All right. 
and they are going quite fast. So after the Didi, we go into a bigger so, one called sorry, the Summer. One. Is this one already sold out? The, the no, we are selling Didi now. Okay. Didi is not yet sold out. Okay. It's currently ongoing. It's the banner that that was sold out. All right. All right? Now we are selling Didi. Okay. So after the Didi, we will move to the other side called the Saba. Okay. Right? Saba in Manica means trade. Saba is much bigger than Didi and Bena. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So that's the Saba right there. Alright? Okay. So after the Saba, we move inwards. Alright? You will have the different names. Okay? So each of these names represent a tribe in the Gambia. Okay. So you have the Batik, you have the, the Baki. Alright? So you have over there called Patch in Manjago. You have over there called Seven. In Aku, or maybe English, if you like. Okay, so it goes all the way, all right, down here. Okay, so and this is called the, the retirement village, the retirement place. Okay, you okay. see, um, it's well built for people who who are approaching their retirement age or who have already retired. Okay, so that's the that's the tail end of the, the city. The city. Okay. So here is an entertainment center, all right? So you have um, the green all over the place, okay? So okay. that's how that's it is, okay? So that's, that's the plan. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So now what we'll do now is um, we go on site yeah. to see exactly how uh, the project is unfolding. So right now uh, we are outside and then we have our sister here who is going to tell us some of the things in which we are going to ask her, starting with um, approximately how many people are there? Currently we have approximately 100 people for now, just for this phase. Okay. More or less 100 people um, working here from different countries, um, of the sub-region. Okay. Um, it goes from local people from the village of Sifo, Gundu, to Gambians, but then also you have other people from Sierra Leone and, and Nigeria, Nigeria and uh, Nixau, Senegal. So, um, as we say, we're a Pan-African co company and uh, we show it even on the Say ground. it again, say it again. <laughs> as we say, we're a Pan-African co company and we, we show it in, in every, every single Let's go through and you can see the, the infrastructure. Plant, so the, the trees, the palm trees are being built, um, planted. We want them to be mature by the, by the time people start leave, leaving here and the, the, the smart city is fully operational. So that is why we're building, we're planting it now. or month. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so the plan is that within six months we can build a house. So within if you come months. here in July 2022, 2022, I can assure you that people can be living in one of our houses sure. in the next six months. So wow. please. Years is maybe for the other <laughs> the, the other estates. Yeah. So the plan is to be for the city to be fully developed within ten years. But it goes by demand, so it can be less and it can be more. So, uh, why do you decide to name these uh, different kind of cities that you have here? You name them different, like the Gambina, estates, the the estate. Saba, yeah, Saba. because everything we do, we think about the social impact of our our um, our project and our work. And if you you see in our past estates or the existing estates, we did that also. We used the different ethnic groups in the Gambia just to have representativity. So you have Bena, Didi, Saba, Batik, because all of those are the different ethnies that we have and we want everyone to, to feel uh, at home here. So that is why. So you can, you can see that you know, Gambia is really, really interesting. And City is really, really and we're, we're a di we have diversity in the country, so we have to show it. 
it's not just Wolof, Sose. We have so many other ethnic ethnies that are here, and everyone has to be feeling themselves in, in our project. Showcase. Yeah, Benal Didi Nyeta, make sure you buy land for your mother, your father, your uncle down in the top city, the brightest city, the comfortable city down in the West Africa, the Gambia, check it out. So make sure um, top city, um, top the number one builder down in the Gambia, a man in a Maninka warrior straight from the Gambia to Nigeria, him hit up all over Nigeria. So now him come back home, piece of everything nice. Everything can kind of beautiful done in the Gambia. So I will say the brightest city in the Gambia, the brightest city, the most comfortable city in the Gambia or in Africa is Tap City. So make sure ring them number right at the moment. Anywhere we go, them dial them number and everything go set up down. So I mean say call them number. I'm um, nice Gambia is the best YouTube channel done in West Africa or the Gambia simply the way. So dial them number to be part of um Tap City down in Sifo, so simply the way. And this is the best place right now to live in the Gambia. Yeah. yeah. And to come and work. And to come and work, yeah. yes. Young Gambians, young Africans, you can see our team, we're all young and dy dynamic. Out. So, boys, girls, if you're skilled, just come around, knock our door, and uh, we'll see what we can do. You can come and be part of this beautiful thing being built. Wow. Now, uh, I understand uh, you have two bedrooms, two bedrooms. Uh, but now, let's say I'm not able to afford the four bedrooms and I also don't want to sleep in two bedrooms. How do I go about that? I think, so affordability goes beyond the economic aspect of it. Affordability is what you can afford at a certain time. So if you have your budget and you can only afford a two bedroom for now, buy that two bedroom and then when you can afford more, you can add up to what you, you're doing. So. Affordability is can be on, on a timeline if that makes sense. So, for example, you can. That's why we're flexible in regards to the plans and, and um, the site, the, the, the land size. So you choose your land size and you choose the plan you wanna you wanna build. So you can you can buy a big land size, put a two bed. That is what you can afford today. Maybe in two years time you can add up a, a room or two or and even go up and they'll make it four bedrooms and, and make a, a four bedroom story building we have a nima for example which is a, a four bedroom story building so you can start with a two bedroom and ask for extra basalt for example to allow you to be able to, for the foundation to be stronger so you have to be visionary in your in your plan it's not something that you you have to have today right we, we young people want to have everything today which is, which is not always possible. So those are the ways to, to work around affordability. Um, what you can afford today versus what, what you can afford in five years or two years time. And then you can upgrade your, 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 your stand, your stand, yes. the four bedrooms you want four bedrooms just start with two and then expand it maybe uh, when you have the money to expand it okay. yeah wow. ah exactly. uh, well like the land size right I still okay now let's say the land size uh, if I can choose the amount of size that they want right, that's what I understand so we have already identified the plots but we can if you don't see exactly what you want. You can want to add more, or you say, I want a 500 square meter. We can see how to adjust our plans. And 
create a 500 square meter. But we have already um, identified all the plots. So, but we can we can work on it. We're flexible. Again, if you come early, but if you come and there's only one or two left and they're separated within the estate, it will be complicated. Maybe you'll wait for the next estate where you you, you can reserve for there what you want exactly. So it makes me come early. I know, I know more people ask me about Mariam. You are Mariam, yeah? She's beautiful beyond imagination and the voice is super. But don't call me to ask me about. They will ask, I'm so. <laughs> I know. People from Jamaica, England, Sweden, Germany. When you want to see her, come here. She has no time to telephone us. No. Yeah? But yeah. dial up their number, buy everything down here. Right now. Before everything will cut off. We are nice Gambia. Everything nice and beautiful, so you can connect. So can you please tell them to subscribe to Nice Gambia channel? And our channel too. Yes. Yeah, oh good! <laughs> so, 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 so please subscribe at Nice Gambia on their page, their YouTube page. But don't forget to subscribe also on our channel, which is Taf Jai, Mustafa Taf Jai yeah. channel. And we have great things going on. There. We will put it in the description of this video. Yeah. Make sure and you go there and subscribe. Yeah. And uh, you know, the beautiful thing about that, subscribing to their channel is you know, because they keep more, giving yeah. us updates about what is happening right here. Yeah. So you'll be much more updated than any other YouTube channel about the activity that is going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Maria. 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 Maria.